I'm delighted to report that Kinetic's Airborne Technology Demonstrator has successfully conducted its first flight test with a combat aircraft nose system installed. I'm proud to say that the flight test also represents the largest modification to a civil registered aircraft that Kinetic has completed to date and the first time Kinetic has completed a modification of this kind for a number of decades. The nose section of the aircraft has been strengthened which provides opportunities for testing a range of technologies such as sensor heads or electronic warfare countermeasures. It is purpose built to simplify the route of getting technology under development into the airborne environment and to do so more cost effectively. May that be for future communication, autonomy, navigation or sensor technologies being tested either live or synthetically. We are able to analyse the performance of the technology in flight, make decisions on adjusting test points, make changes to the technology whilst airborne, or fly multiple test activities simultaneously in the same environment. Most importantly, it is a capability that is ready to go today. Collaborating with BAE Systems, we are proud to lead on this engineering project. Operating as the most capable flying testbed available in the UK today, I'm excited to say this successful flight paves the way for future sensor integration capability. The aircraft is an agile, modular, multi-role capability that meets the requirements of both military and civil customers. This means it can support cost-effective specialist training, experimentation, air carriage and other test and evaluation activities. Building on the exceptional work delivered by the team at the Aviation Engineering Centre over recent years, the addition of the Radome is the latest milestone in a series of aircraft design modifications. Thanks to operating under our own clearances, we have the ability in-house to meet bespoke customer requirements. This latest landmark is a further reflection of the outstanding work consistently delivered by all those involved at the centre, as the team continues to adapt to an ever-changing defence environment.